say they're YouTubers, friends, passers by. Uh, I went to market today after, well, during and after work. Not all of these are what I picked up, but some of these are for comparisons. And uh, yeah, first off, I uh, picked this up for a pound. I looked at it and thought, yeah, look at them mad wheels on it. Uh, and then I looked at it and realised that somebody's had a good go at customising this. It is a uh, Corgi Junior. I thought it was it it was one of those um, Dodge A100 sort of things, but it's actually a Jeep FC150. Uh, originally this one the red one had like a conveyor belt going up that you could wind round and going off but that's going to come apart it's going to get some better wheels than that one it's just going to get done up generally it cost me a pound uh, I picked up another one of these I already had one before but the back tempo on that one is not particularly great where it, on that one it is nice but the rest of it's ruined so depending on I might swap them around I might not I might just do it up um, oh sorry Jesus uh, I also picked up this matchbox I'm just gonna pick it up a mantra rancho Lesney England it doesn't roll at all for some reason the wheels I don't know it just seems to go straight into it. probably been stood on at one time um, but the person that I got this off he, he separates his Hot Wheels and all his other cars so he has his Hot Wheels in a box and they're like three for a pound but then all the other cars are 20 pence each or eight for a pound so <laughs> It's mad and he doesn't really know what he's got. Like Some of the Matchbox and the Corgis and things I think are a lot better than some of the Hot Wheels that he had. Uh, I picked up this Ford Escort RS200. Matchbox super fast. Rolls pretty sweet actually. Um, just needs to touch up with paint. Still got his hitching bar. Tried to look for some caravans today but none well, they were one but it had everything missing uh, I also picked up this it says matchbox ink but all it says on it is a super GT um, I believe the super GT were a series that they did that had like racing sort of stickers on them because this actual casting is a Ford Capri exactly the same as this and this well, unfortunately those have opening hoods whereas the other one doesn't uh, I'm guessing it's probably of a later model and these are a little bit earlier but these are pretty cool these it's strange to see a uh, orange car with a red bonnet in toy cars especially back in the day um, I also picked up this Matchbox Ford Sierra XR4i. I already had the Texaco Rally version. I just thought that one was nice. It's got a bit of pen on there, but I can get that off, no problem. Um, I also picked up these two Matchbox ones. It says Matchbox Series Rolls Royce Silver Shadow, made in England by Lesney. Uh, as you can see, it's a little bit older. It does have a opening boot, but nothing else. The front, this bit's metal. It's all metal, in fact, apart from obviously the interior and the glass. But this one, again, it's a Matchbox, but it's a super fast Rolls Royce Silver Shadow. Um, but the boot doesn't open on this one however the doors do which is kind of strange 
and the front insert is plastic rather than metal um, and they're the sort of a similar size one's a little bit uh, probably a little bit thinner than the other one you didn't see that at all did you I apologize it looks a little bit thinner to me anyway uh, the next one is a little bit interesting as when I picked it up it looked really strange anybody who's seen TR8 before will know that this is a Triumph TR8 it's a plastic base or a plastic body sorry a metal base but on the base it's actually called Quicksilver Lesney product of USA made in Hong Kong and as you can see it's got screws rather than rivets um, so I might take this apart I might do might not um, clean it up bit of pen will do I think uh, then I picked up a matchbox sorry roller matics it's not going to pick it up it is yeah police patrol which is obviously it's a Land Rover it says on the side security rally Paris Dakar of 83 I did already have one of these just to compare it but this is obviously a police one uh, Charlie A or Stephen or Matt or Matthew Dean somebody sent me this <laughs> I don't know but these are, these are sweet these these are really nice uh, I love the big Range Rovers I'm still trying to find a Range Rover in the Matchbox uh, Hot Wheels sorry I know they, they don't make it anymore so it's going to be an old one old casting but there we go uh, and you've all seen these before from Matchbox uh, the Model A Ford I've got quite a few of them this one in particular is quite nice but I seen this today that came with two other cars that I'll show you after this uh, all three of them were a pound I couldn't really miss the opportunity look at them ridiculous colour it, it's absolutely mint apart from that well it's not really it's oh yeah it's just plastic that bit but it's absolutely mint like it's just out of the package um, this I've done some research it came with uh, a circus circus gift pack uh, that come with uh, like normal lorries and lorries with trailers for lions and stuff and this were like the wacky I don't know clown car I suppose that was in there so that was nice it's, it's pretty nice blue that it's really nice blue in fact um, the other two that I picked up with it were these Peterbilt trucks obviously you can see why I'd put them together they look outlandishly similar but these these trucks are from a matchbox series called my first playset my first playsets or my first matchbox um, sets that were all outlandishly coloured with ridiculous colour wheels and bodies and cabs and stuff uh, just to get kids into um, Matchbox and get kids into toys I suppose it worked because somebody bought these um, nice little models though I might take one apart and custom it and get them red wheels off not silly red wheels because they're not as you can see though one tampo is really light and one tampo is really dark not sort of a variant man anyway um, there's just another example of that truck but with a tipper um, cement mixer on it uh, I also picked up to go with my other two Lesney, not Lesney I do apologise um, Leyland Terriers from Corgi Juniors I picked up the Coke one and the Raider truck rental one it's a bit beaten but when it's eight for a pound 
I can't really complain. Um, I also picked up this. It's been in shop for a time, pretty much. Um, made in England, Matchbox Super Fast. Uh, fantastic. And as you can see, it's got a few scuffs and scrapes on it, but I think taking that apart and putting some of them uh, Hot Wheels stickers that I've got might spruce that up. Um, I picked up another Matchbox van to go with this one that I didn't realise somebody had mutilated the winds windows and this window here but decided to leave that one. Um, so I've got this other one to go with it. I've had a look on online. Uh, this would have had, weirdly, a tampo that goes across there that says vampire that was in a bat. Um, but they go nicely with my Williams Renault version. I do have the F1 car and the trailer for this. It's like a s racing sets. Um, next I picked up well in that big box there were this which I thought was an escort at, at first but if you turn it around you'll be able to notice the front which is distinctive there's a BMW it's a GTX uh, 325i cabriolet obviously uh, I did think this were like corgi you can definitely tell it's not a matchbox um, but on the bottom it's a racing champions incorporated made in China um, it, it rolls okay not too bad nice decos old school decos and this Corgi this is quite intriguing uh, it's a Corgi Ford Mustang Cobra made in Great Britain but I swear down that Hot Wheels has used this exact same casting for a Ford Cobra that I've seen online like pink ones and black ones and it's I'm 100% sure it's the exact same casting and if you look at it the spoiler it even got the lifting boot exactly the same and ridiculous colour, well it ain't got so much ridiculous colour um, bumpers and things but it's got the same inserts as bumpers and things like that it does look a lot better with uh, Hot Wheels wheels on it but this, I just thought this was interesting I thought Cobra, Cobra's TV might appreciate a bit of old school Cobra um, and then last for the just the bits and bobs for the cheap stuff um, with these I picked up first the green one which says on the bottom Ford Transit made by Corgi if it'll focus um, yeah Corgi made in Great Britain um, so I seen that one I knew it's a Corgi but then these other two that I picked up that I thought were the same but I realise now that in the backs they've got inserts where obviously something would have been other than that they're exactly the same casting apart from on the bottom it doesn't say Corgi it just said Ford Transit made in Great Britain and the same on this one if you'll focus Um, yeah, I think one of them is definitely going to get a custom because they're just nice little models. I love my Ford Transits and vans. I'm, I'm a van man. This has got to be my all-time favourite casting. I remember having this particular one as a child. Also a an orange one that said... Uh, Matchbox Collectors Club on the side um, apparently that's quite hard to get older now so a bit devastating that I lost that as a child <coughs> sorry uh, next up is uh, all the 
I'll just move these over there. The Hot Wheels that I picked up, three for a pound. Um, they were an odd number, so he did let me have one of them with all my matchbox, um, and one or the other ones is just a, one that I'd bought recently, just to compare. First off, we've got your 2005 VW new Volkswagen Cup, that way even, a bit dirty, but I might give it a clean, I might even, because uh, I don't have to rivet anything really to take body off, I might just take that off, take windscreen out, take that paint off and spray it. Who knows, who knows. Um, yeah, and this, I picked up this. Which, um, doesn't say anything on the side, but if the vigilant of you will notice the front. And it's a, uh, a crackums, crack ups, sorry. It all still works. It, surprisingly, because it's a metal bonnet, the piece doesn't bend whereas on this one that I had previously it, because it's a plastic bonnet it tends to sometimes bend outwards so it doesn't always catch it um, however mine does still work so it's it's nice to have um, nice to have a set of those we can always oh we can't we can't yes we bashed one of them anyway um, yeah Anyway, having too much fun. Next up, uh, I've seen this and I saw the Hot Wheels logo on the side of the car, but I've never seen this casting in... Never. Um, I've seen it on other people's channels, but I've just never seen it. It's... I don't know if you'll be able to tell before I show you. Pretty cool Hot Wheels logo on there. It is turn it that way, it might be work. A Nissan Silvia S15, which is just a badass looking car, to be honest with you. I'm in two minds whether or not to customize it. it has got it, the logo on that side's pretty mint, whereas on that side, it's I don't know, it's all right, it's had a bit of a bashing on that corner. It's just on the front where it's taken all the uh, all the play. Uh, next up, these. I thought these had come from like a five pack or a set of cars or something. Uh, it real, uh, and I realised that only well, three of them did. First up, there's this that doesn't say the name, and you know what? I absolutely forgot what it's called now. Uh, oh no, uh, but if it's near mint, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. A little flea bite on that corner. No, oh, that's just the sun. Um, yeah, it rolls like a dream. On the side, it says, "We're gonna focus." Well, on the side it says, lifeguard, lifeguard on board, please keep dogs on leashes. Um, beach patrol, obviously. Uh, then, pick this one up, which is Hot Wheels Police Patrol. Again, this doesn't say, I can't remember what this casting is called, it doesn't say what it is. If anybody can let me know, that would be lovely. Uh, it's got the light bar in there, but I don't believe the light bar is sorry the light bar is connected to the windshield because I picked another one up exact same casting does this say no this one doesn't say either but as you can see the light bars come out but it's it's still all there and there's still like there's like a gap between you can see what I mean anyway so one of these might get a custom, I might be able to get another 
light for their Mecca Sheriff car. And last but not least, thanks for waiting around and watching me and watching what I've picked up today. Uh, is this? I think this also came in the five pack. This is a Dodge Ram truck. Um, again, another police thing. What is it? it says? Federal Drug Enforcement. It's a, it's a K9 unit. Anybody thinking of trafficking drugs across the border? You have a Dodge Ram on your ass, and whatever this is. Um, but yeah, they're just well, hell of a lot of pickups today. Just odds and ends, really. But yeah, thanks for stopping by. Peace out. I hope you're all doing well. And happy hunting.